I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That is the first step to picking a hand, because you really don't need to pick a hand until you run out of discards. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a joker, a flower, north, south, pair, north, four, five, eight, and bams, two, six, and dots with a pair of sixes, five, eight, nine, and cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would target the multiples. So north and six. This is where I would start. Looking at the rest of my tiles, I would probably keep the south because in the wind and dragon category, there are some options with north and south. We have a pair of sixes here. So I probably would keep the consecutive tiles. If we get more number tiles, I would just let the winds go later. I'd probably hold the flower. Those are very risky to pass. And that leaves us with four discards. So I would pass those three. So you use a process of elimination, gather the strength supporting the multiples, and then with the remaining tiles, find a good pass. If you would have done something differently with this, right, pull one and what you would do with these tiles. We have a flower east and south with a pair of east. We have one nine paired up in dots. One, two, four, seven in bams with a pair of ones. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the most of my multiples. Since we have only one pair of nines in this east, I don't think I would focus on the nines. I'd probably break those up and use the two pair of ones, the most of the multiples. With an east, the only way we could really use this would be to play a quint and we have no jokers. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't focus on that. I would focus on ones, maybe something consecutive. And I would stop there because we have tiles now that we can pass. Once you identify a pass, you can stop the analysis because you're going to get tiles during the Charleston that'll help you make the next decision. So just pull enough, inf enough of your tiles to identify a pass and then stop and then do it again once you get your pass. If you would have done something differently here, write pull two and what you would do with these tiles.
Joker, West, Green, 349, Pair 9, 23479 in dots, 39 paired up. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I probably would focus on 369. We have no sixes, so that is a challenge. But I would still pull the multiples and build around them. One thing we could consider is consecutive run. Oop. Three, four, three, four. So I probably would keep the two, two, three, four, three, four, and then we have the nines. I think I would probably pass those and see what comes in. If sixes come in, I would focus on three, six, nine. If we get fours, maybe three, four, three, four, and just break up the nines. You want to go with most of your multiples. So sixes would be ideal with these tiles. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So if you get your dealt hand and you have a multiple, start there. You can simplify decision making by focusing on multiples. Gather the remaining tiles that can support the multiple and play a category that will use most of your tiles. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.